and vitamins. This, from today onwards, is going to be their permanent home. 100 of animals in the last six years died from hunger, starvation, lack of medicine, lack of food, also fear and stress, war. <laughs> It was very, very difficult for them. What is priority? To go to check my kids at first if they have dinner or should I stay beside the animal? Because this is humanity. This is hope. They cannot give up. They believe in the good. Some kidney deficiencies, the dental problems, the broken canines, the lack of nutrition. They will receive um, medical veterinary care. We will have uh, a dentist come in. Can we can we get rid of the? One of the bears actually tried to climb out of his new cage because he got electrocuted by the new fence. We're just taking a few steps back for our own safety and so the animal feels a bit more calm. We sat with him for about half an hour. We talked gently to him. We wanted him to know that we're loving, caring beings and this is our role to look after him. In the 1980s, fighting the uh, Soviets. There are so many innocent people, children, women, stuck and abandoned in war zones. How come you decided to rescue these animals over these people? Mother Teresa put it very well. She said, uh, she said, you know, I can't perform great miracles, but I can perform many small miracles. And that's what I've chosen to do because not many people are concerned about animals. Nobody wanted to sponsor this daring rescue mission, Operation Noah's Ark, as they sometimes call it. You see, animals can connect people. I watched it in all the rescue missions before, in Gaza, in Mosul, in Libya, in Baghdad. I saw every soldier, whatever which his nation, whatever he believed, he just put his weapon down, and he wanted to see the animal, and he smiled, and he wanted even to take a selfie with that. I don't want to just upset it, really. It's completely sure. Sure, it's really. Both sides are willing to help to get them out. So I think that's a very important thing because sometimes people can forget their own differences or put them aside to work for a, a different goal. And if animals can be a vehicle for that, that's great. Fetus, that's a ribcage. I don't see now science for, for the second baby to come. Hope for the future for Syrian animals, for Syrian people.